The decision is one part Solomon, one part semantics. President Obama rushed to resolve an election year battle over religion, health insurance, and birth control. Under new rules that he announced today, employees of faith-based institutions will still have contraceptives covered by their insurance plans, but the cost will be picked up by the insurance companies, not by the religious institutions. So they can say they don't pay for the contraceptives, but their employees can still get them for free. Nora O'Donnell is at the White House tonight. Nora? Scott, this is clearly a change in policy by President Obama aimed at calming this political firestorm that could have cost him support among Catholic voters, a key swing group that he won by nine points in the last election. Reform law that I signed. Calling himself both a citizen year, and a Christian, the president case. today announced a compromise. Uh, after the many genuine concerns that have been raised over the last few weeks, as well as, frankly, the more cynical de desire on the part of some to make this into a political football, it became clear that spending months hammering out a solution uh, was not going to be an option. The new policy would not require religious institutions like Catholic hospitals or universities to provide free contraception for their employees. Instead, the institution's health insurance providers would have to offer and pay for birth control. A solution, Mr. Obama hopes, works for that. everyone. Religious liberty will be protected and a law that re requires free preventive care will not discriminate against women. The decision settles months of debate inside the White House, with the president's closest advisors divided along gender lines. Senior advisor Valerie Jarrett and Health Secretary Kathleen Sebelius urged the president to expand contraceptive coverage for women, while Vice President Joe Biden and former White House Chief of Staff Bill Daley, both Catholics, warned about the political fallout even inviting Cardinal-designate Timothy Dolan to the Oval Office in November to speak directly to the president. Today, in a statement, a cautious Dolan called the president's announcement a first step in the right direction. Planned Parenthood President Cecile Richards said the move will provide new access for millions of American women. Women will be able to get birth control now for no expensive copay or deductible, uh, regardless of where they work. Now, with this new policy, the White House is hoping that both sides can claim victory. Women will have access to contraception without a copay, and this will also address some of the important concerns, Scott, that have been raised by religious institutions. Nora, thank you very much.